Hey, welcome to the channel. And today I'll be talking about the Cloud Resume Challenge in AWS. So I have already kind of completed my Azure Cloud Resume Challenge and I wanted to do the AWS version because I know that I keep saying that that's how I went from my help desk gig to Cloud Engineer. But at that time, the Cloud Resume Challenge didn't exist. And my version of the Cloud Resume Challenge was not complete. So I only had like a portfolio website that I hosted on S3 with CloudFront. And with that being said, there was no database aspect to it. There was no IEC, right? Uh, so some of the principles that are mentioned in the challenge were not part of my initial attempt because the Cloud Resume Challenge didn't exist. So here I'm gonna create the Cloud Resume Challenge, but also produce videos. So it will be a series maybe. I'll see if I want to post it as just one video, but it'll be longer. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's start with what is the Cloud Resume Challenge. So as you can see, this is the Cloud Resume Challenge. The website you can visit is called cloudresumechallenge.dev and I've opened the AWS version of it. So you can see the first step is to work towards a certification, which by the way, I already have. So I, in total, I have four AWS cloud certifications. So I can skip this part and we'll, we'll be moving along to HTML, CSS and static website. Your resume won't be a Word doc. It needs to be an HTML, like a website, a simple website works. And this is the example that Forrest shares. So Forrest is, the person who's behind the Cloud Resume Challenge. And this is the example they share. So for me, I had this as my portfolio website back in 2018. And this can be found online if you just Google HTML5, you know, portfolio free templates. Uh, this is one of the famous ones. I just edited it to my, you know, liking. So I changed the theme to purple because I like purple color. And then everything else was just kind of same, but I have put in my details into the template. So one of the sites I would recommend looking up for templates is html5up.net. There are a lot of different uh, templates available that you can download and use it for your own portfolio. So in my case, as I shared, this is the older version of my portfolio, the original, uh, the OG portfolio that I created but, but now I have changed it a bit. So you can see, uh, this is how your portfolio template would look like. And the only thing you have to edit is the information. So you will put in your own personal details. So in my case, I put in my name here, as you can see, um, and then a lot of details on what I do. Like I, I'm experienced in AWS and you know, what is the URL for this website and things like that. So that part is, you will have to familiarize yourself with HTML uh, and somewhat CSS, but most of it is written for you. You just have to edit it to your own personal content. So with, with that, I would link this down below from where you can download your own template and start working towards it. The CSS part will already be done. You just have to update the HTML files uh, with your own personal information. So moving along, we have to create an S3 bucket with a static website, and we also have to enable HTTPS. And we'll see how that can be done uh, with the help of CloudFront, which is a CDN service that AWS provides. And I want to, I think I'll keep that for the next video where I set up the S3 bucket. We upload our static website to that bucket, and then we configure HTTPS along with CloudFront and also Maybe I'll show you how you can get a domain for free or we can buy a domain from Namecheap and point it to AWS. And then I will move to next sections, which will be creating a DynamoDB database and also creating our Lambda functions, right? And then writing our Lambda functions in Python, as you can see, uh, we'll build some tests. IAC part will also be included in this challenge. so. I'm gonna write this in Terraform, even though the challenge says um, to use AWS SAM or a serverless application model. I'll be using Terraform and I'll show you how you can do that. And then for source control, we are using GitHub. So all of the code that 
you'll see in these videos will be on GitHub. And we will configure CI/CD uh, for both backend and frontend. And if you don't know what CI/CD is, it's continuous integration and continuous deployment, which would help us achieve as soon as we push changes to our GitHub repository will be posted live on our website. So that is the challenge. I wanted to do an introduction. And with that being said, I'm excited to do this as a series and I will start posting a few parts of it every week. So the first part, as I said, would be building our website and building our S3 bucket, hosting our website on S3 and configure CloudFront for it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel to keep up to date with as these parts are released and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.